All right, hey guys, welcome back to some more Skyrim. Last time, can I we help? um, last time Fandal said, "Can I help you?" We got Fandal a new sword. We killed a dragon. We went to the shrine of Azura. And we uh, had a we we we, we did a t camping tutorial, and um, then we killed some conjurers at this place. And uh, Johan is now quite interested in this place. Are there more of these guys inside? What could they be doing here? Why would they set up so close to the road? Wouldn't that be dangerous in case some guards came by? It only really makes sense if they're planning on using this as a venue from which to attack people. And Johan is too good of a guy to really let that happen. So, he's going to head into this fort and see if he can't let Barbus and Feindall finish off some more of these conjurers and remove the danger once and for all. But there's another skeleton down here, really. It had a soul gem, which is nice. Just a petty one, but still. Let's do some sneaking. Yeah, sneaking. That'll go well. I am still super incredibly double dog paranoid about my um <laughs> my recording messing up and um, this is the 13th episode that I'm recording right now so um, seriously I don't have enough magicka for the rune I finally remembered to use the rune I don't have enough magicka for it because I haven't put any perk points into um, into destruction yet I'll have to do that next god I'm spreading my perks so thin though I'm gonna be at an even bigger disadvantage than usual pretty soon. Um, anyway, this is episode 13 of the Let's Play. And with the kind of luck I've been having already, I am just barely superstitious enough. Ooh, that actually has some value to it. Um, I am just superstitious enough to worry that things will go extra super wrong in this episode. Fandel agrees with me. Because it's his job to agree with me. Uh, that's a big cobweb. Great. Oh, there's not a spider in here. I could totally see conjurers hanging out with spiders. Hey, look, some axes. But not hammers. I need a hammer. Okay, let's see if we can go to get into another fight. And so I can do some more summoning. Are you, are you aggroed already? Yeah, you're aggroed already. Good. Did Fandol just shoot me? I think Fandol just shot me. Barbus, go. I choose you. I also choose living. I choose living. Run. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Um. All right. So she seems she seems concentrating on Barbus. Let's cut off her head while she's doing that. See, she's completely ignoring me. I'm gonna have to send Barbus away. Man, I really like Barbus. How are you not dead yet? Seriously. Can I not? Okay, there we go. Histocarp. Okay. Jeez, the necromancer's robes are worth quite a lot of money for how little they weigh. Wow, somebody had a drinking problem. Not that Johan is one to judge. He, he drinks a lot. That's an empty chest. Fantastic. Yeah, I'm not going to take all those. They're worth money, but they're not worth enough money to justify taking all of them. I will take the food, though. And you need, I need to do some more cooking at some point, too. Jump. Anybody here? Kind of hoping that would make me unlock it so I can get some lockpicking experience, but... Ew. Barbus, they were feeding people dogs. That's gross. Wish there was a way I could choose whether or not I wanted to unlock them with the key or with um, regular lockpicking. That'd be cool. Alright, there's some more sacks over here. Mm, there's a lot of vegetables. 
I am not sure I need all of them, though. I will take the cabbage. Cabbage is delicious. <sighs> That's fine for now. Is this, is this the only other place in this particular building? Is there nothing, nothing beyond here? Was there a door over here? No, that was just a thing. Where's, where's the local map? Uh, come on. Do you not scroll? There you go. Yeah, okay. So, that's Skyrim, that's Skyrim. So there's nothing else in here. Totally miss it, missed a chest over here. So I'll grab that. Actually, I will also grab uh, Novice Robes of Conjuration. That sounds like a good idea. And this small coin purse. Lots of empty wine bottles. Tons of empty wine bottles, but no. I've got your back. Good wine bottles. And by good, I mean full wine bottles. We'll take salt. Salt's very good. Don't need lanterns either. Or skulls. Let's, let's just go. Come on. Yeah, let's just go. Alright, this is where we came in, right? Does that door up there lead to someplace different? I don't I honestly don't remember. I don't ever come to this place. So let's go find out. Let's go see if it takes us somewhere different. It's a campfire. Oh, this is the captain's quarters, which is definitely a different place than wh where we've been. And I would expect there to be somebody here, but I don't see anybody so far. Ah, here's some not-yet-drunk wine. And an empty wardrobe. Great. Read the old ways. Don't know what that is. I'll take it anyway. Candlestick's worth some money, but now I'm over-encumbered. Good. Take all this cheese. Hey, Fandle, come here. Alright, I gave you a bunch of stuff, mostly the Lead on. huge quantity of vegetables that I was um, carrying. <laughs> so I was carrying a ton of vegetables that I really need to use. Nope, not take any more. Not until I use the ones I've got. Empty weapons rack, that's kind of disappointing. Conjure Frost Atronach. I think I, I have a uh, Conjure Storm Atronach in my inventory, so it's it would be nice to have the other side of that, too. I mean, since I can already conjure flame Atronox on my hand. Wow, that was good. Good loot. Anything in here? Blacksmith's apron. Excellent. Actually, the green hooded robes are kind of cool. I'm going to take those. Oh, dear God. There's, like, nothing good in here. Except wine. I will always take wine. Got your back. I know you do, dude. You don't have to keep telling me. I mean, I appreciate that you keep telling me, but you don't need to keep telling me. Is there anything down here? That doesn't even open. A large sack. Some flour. No, I'm not lugging flour around. That seems like a terrible idea. Uh, I've got so many apples. I don't need more apples. I don't need more potatoes either. Don't even know why I'm looking in these. Nope. No, 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 I'm, I'm done. I'm done looking at do barrels and bags. You can get out of my way. Barbus. Fando. Get out of my way. There's a ladder up here. See if there's anything on the roof. That was a weird sound. Uh, there's that thing. A uh, weird bow from the skeleton that was down there. Uh, and some... Nightshade, a bowl that has something in it. Ooh, gold septums, excellent. And an egg. And fire salts. And void salts that I haven't tasted yet. And a scroll of conjure familiar. I still need to get conjure familiar. I'd really like to have that. And a bowl is actually worth money. I'll take that too. All right, that was. I've got your back. Yeah, yeah. That was that was mildly bad loot, but I'll take it. Maybe there's some more stuff over here. Nope, doesn't look like it. Alright. And I'm stuck. Good. Alright, back on the road. What time is it? Uh, about one o'clock. 
if I round up. We've got to get to Felglow Keep. That's where we're headed. Um, nope, I want to go back to the world map. Thank you. Uh, Felglow Keep being uh, far along this road, and then here-ish is where we turn off to get to it. Then we're going to head back to White Run, just as a reminder. I'm going to save really quick while I have a second. Just because my recording software has been acting up lately. And I would like to be able to continue from as close as possible to um, wherever it stops working, should it stop working and I have to record again. That's, that's actually a pretty big fort. I always remember it as being smaller than it actually is when I think back on it after having played through it, you know? It's kind of snowy, but otherwise it's a pretty nice day. That's big. Ooh, can I rip off a tusk? Can I rip off one of these mammoth tusks now? Okay, that's very disappointing. There looks like some kind of barrow or something up here. Kind of up that way, so I'm probably not going to discover it. I don't remember what it is. I'm trying to remember what it is, but I don't remember. Oh, hey, another traveler. Let's go talk to them, see if they'd like to travel with us. Wearing dwarven armor, that's pretty cool. Hello. There's been word of some trouble nearby. I'm on my way to investigate. That's pretty cool. Where are you headed? I probably shouldn't tell everyone who asks. This is important business, you know. Um. Okay, I could save you some trouble by asking you to tell me where it is, apparently. No, I think I've got this one. Thanks, though. Okay, sure. Have fun. There's a... Is that a Khajiit? It was running along the road. Yeah, you said that already. All right. Which way do I go from here? Uh, the way, the same way that Kanjit went. Okay. There's a cave and a building. I don't remember this. I don't remember what's on this road at all. Oh, wolves of some kind. Okay. Looks like they're attacking that person. See if we can help. Wow, that did nothing. Good. The wolf isn't attacking me. It's weird. I mean, it's it's looking at me like it's gonna attack me, but it's not actually attacking me. Wow, it went flying. Holy crap! Alright. We saved a person, probably. Let's go see if they're okay. It's like we ran right by that cave, too. What is on the map that's pointing me there? Oh, yeah, co collect the bounty. Let's actually, let's turn that off. Since, um, th that, that's going to confuse me if I don't, <laughs> if I don't turn it off. Oh, hey, um, more Khajiits. Could this have been part of one of the caravans, maybe? That's kind of cool. Well, we saved your person for you. Interesting. It looks like some kind of inn. I think I, I remember this place now. Yeah, okay. Snowberries, yes. All of the snowberries. Snowberries are so freaking useful. I'm going to go discover this place in a second. Just for the heck of it. Actually, what time is it? Two. Mm, we probably shouldn't stop in. I have an alchemist, though. Ah, man. I'm gonna step, stop in the alchemist. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Uh, yeah. Good. Hi there. Hi, what do you have so for sale? So you're interested in my potions and ingredients? 
Uh, yeah, potions resist fire. That'd be really useful. I'm more interested in ingredients, though. Is that the fish that has the beneficial effect that I keep looking for? I don't remember. What do you have that I haven't tasted yet? Bee, beehive husk, ectoplasm. Mm. Do you have any wheat? No, you don't. Great. I'll buy one of each of the things of yours that I haven't tried yet, including disgusting ectoplasm. So that I can, uh... I know what Nurnry does. I don't need to, need to do that. Um, just so I can get a little bit more alchemy going. What books do you have? Restore magic, a potion, recipe? Don't care. Alright, I've probably got it's things I can pleasure. sell her, but I'm not going to worry about it. Let's, um... Go ahead and eat this stuff. Back in long fin. B. Uh, B. I. Husk. Oh, I haven't tried bleeding crown yet either. Ugh, ectoplasm. Gross. Hist carp. Restore stamina. That's still not what I was thinking of. Uh, ice wraith's teeth. Saber cat tooth that I'm going to eat somehow. Great. Silverside Perch. No, that's all, that's still not the one I was thinking of. <sighs> Honestly, I have no idea what it could be at this point. Void Salts. That's worth a lot. Oh my god. Mm, I'm going to keep that one. I know I, know I said I was going to eat one of everything that I haven't eaten yet, but I'm going to keep that one. Ow. Right, let's get out of here. Ah. <sighs> I think some of this is modded, actually. Some of this area, the way it is here. I'm not 100% sure, though, so don't quote me on that. Um, snowberries. Snowberries. Because I don't, I don't remember some of this, but it's possible that I just don't remember some of this, so, you know. Need something? Uh, yeah. I want to see if you have any things. So, you know, tell me if you have any things. Minus weapons and armor. Ooh, that's got Soul Trap on it. Dang. That is, um... Pretty expensive, but Soul Trap is worth a lot when you put it on stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna buy it. And I'm carrying too much. Because of course I am. I was really hoping he'd have a hammer, but he doesn't have a hammer. Do I have anything I can sell to him? Um... Apparently not. Well, I can sell this elven dagger that I only picked up to sell. Good. Good. I'm still horribly over encumbered, but that's good. Until next time. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Fendo. Come here, buddy. He may actually use the battle axe of snares if I give it to him. If he does, hmm. I could give him some soul gems, and he might actually fill them. That's an interesting idea, Johan. Thank you, Johan. Um, any more? Do I have any more? No. Let's see if he. Let's see if he uses that. You lead, I'll follow. And it looks like he's still using the swords. I'd have to take the swords back. I might actually do that, or maybe put soul snare, the soul snare enchantment on one of his swords. Um, is it back this direction the way we were going? I think it is. Should I check in the inn? Let, let's let's check in the inn. See if anything interesting goes on in here. Come on in. I know there's an inn somewhere that's um that's tied to a quest. Is this the one that I'm thinking of? Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging. Um, actually, could you tell me anything about the inn? The salt place? <laughs> Been here forever. Built by my great granda. Run by him, then all the way up the line to me. That seems kind of boring. Do you get a lot of business? Nah, not so much. The odd traveler on the road. But mostly just old full time. Come to drink away a lifetime of bad memories, I'd wager. Hmm. Of course, there's the orc. 
Oh, oh right, that's it's this that. place. Okay. For what he pays, I could afford to shut this place down. Mm, tell me about this orc. Him? Oh, uh, uh, names uh, Balablob or uh, Malaklob. Uh, one of them funny orc names. Good old racist Talks Nords. Really good though, not a savage at all. Yeah, sure. He said he's a writer. Don't know what kind of job that is. But it must earn him some pretty coin. He's paid up for the next few months. He mostly just hangs about. Goes down to the lake. Sometimes samples the stores of wine in the cellar. Man can do whatever he pleases, as far as I care. Yeah, I remember this now. Um, could you refill these uh, water skins, please? Of course. Excellent. Yeah, I'm done. Anything you need, just holler. Sure. Um, actually, I think there's a guy here. Still here. That's not Fandal. That uh, who is um. Oh. Ah. <laughs> 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 uh. Or maybe just for me. Oh. Oh. Crap. I don't want to do this right now, though. No. No, that would suck so bad. Oh, it would take me so far off course. Oh, dear God. Anyway, supposedly, I think this is the one where there's a guy here who might have been an X-Blade. Hadring got himself another customer, eh? I've got to do it. I've got to do it. If you don't know who that guy is, you have no idea why I'm freaking out right now. But, um... Let me just tell you, this is going to be fun. What I'm going to do, I'm going to sit down here, I'm going to eat. Because I'm, I'm hungry, and I might as well eat while I'm here. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, let's, um, get some meat in me. Still here. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, Still here. let's talk to this, this fine like gentleman here. Can hold their liquor. I am. How about a friendly contest to win a staff? I do like staffs. Is it, or is it staves? I don't really know. If you're looking for a challenge, you've come to the right place. A uh, drinking contest. You don't stand a chance. Ha! <laughs> we'll see about that. This is a special brew. Very strong stuff. Let's get started. Okie dokie. Pretty sure I can handle it, but... I'll start round one. Down the hatch. Okay. Your turn. I don't. I don't remember if um. There's a drinking animation in this mo one this down, this quest friend, or not, but um. Down. Okay, so there's not. Okay. Yeah. And how about you? Uh, second drink, easy enough. So says you. I think I've hit my limit on these things. Tell you what, one more and you win the contest. Excellent. One more, no problem. Wow. <laughs> You've really done it. The staff is yours. That is grape. You know, you're <laughs> a fun person to drink with. Oh, you know, dear Lord. A great little place where the wine flows like water. We should head there. That sounds like a great hey, idea. You don't look so good. Oh, and then I pass out. Wake up. That's right. It's time to wake up, you drunken blasphemer. Uh, blasphemer. I see. So you don't remember fondling the statuary then? I'm guessing you also don't remember coming oh. in and blabbering <laughs> incoherently about. Ah, uh, yeah, I might have done that. Which means you don't remember losing your temper and throwing trash all over the temple. Was a man named Sam with me? Debella teaches love and compassion. But that doesn't mean we're just going to tell you what you want to know and let you walk away from this. Okay. Pick up your mess. Hey, Fando's here. Apologize. And if we think you're sincere, we'll consider lending you aid. Okay. <laughs> uh, for those who don't know, this is the um, the um, Sanguine Daedric quest. I don't remember where all the stuff is. Repair supplies. Giant's Toe, Holy Water, Hag Raven Feather. Okay. I don't remember where everything is that we left laying around. Basically anything 
that we're allowed to take. Yeah, okay, there we go. Um, yeah, I could see, I could see me doing that. I suppose that'll do. Debella teaches us forgiveness, after all, even for a drunk like you. Not always. Well, okay, I'm not always that drunk. So, do you remember anything I said when I got here? You were ranting when you got here, but most of it was slurred. You did say something about Rorikstead. Maybe you should take a look there. Okay. Great. So maybe Sam's in Rorikstead. Fandal. Fandal, I was talking to you. Dear Lord, let's just go. I'm sorry. The Temple of Debella is closed. I was literally just talking to you. You know why I'm here. Oh, God, this game sometimes. Um... What? Where the hell am I? I'm not even I'm not even anywhere near where I was before, am I? Holy crap. This looks like a Dwemer city. Oh dear dear God. Okay. Um lots of climbing to do, apparently. Uh it looks like a blacksmith. In the Legion, we would have called it useless. Look how brittle the metal. That wheel is really, really loud. Wow, this thing attached to that wheel is really, really loud. Why would you get so hot in the You thought what? You would skip a step, not heat the metal all the way through? Useless. Now do it again. Sounds like she's got a problem. Need a new blade? Um, sounds like there's something wrong with your apprentice. Tacitus? Boy, is an imperial. I keep showing how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. If you find a book called The Last Scabbard of Akrish, would you bring it to me? Tacitus sure isn't learning by example. I'll, if I bring one, I'll find it. Thanks. Didn't I find one of those? I thought I found one of those. With the express intention of giving it to her when I ran into her. Feigned up. Where the hell is feigned up? Uh, feigned up. Feigned up. Dear Lord, Barbus, God, get out of the way. Mark, Mark, Arth, City Guard, get out of the way. What can I do for you, friend? Do you have that book I gave you earlier? Or did I put it in the bookshelf? No, it looks like I put it somewhere else. Darn. Is there anything else you uh, I might have sold it by accident too. Sounds like some something I would do because I'm an idiot. Got an axe here. Good for cleaving up force wall. Uh cool. How much do you charge for um, smithing training? It's an honorable craft. I'll show you what I can. She is a common trainer. Eh, I'm okay. But I will see if you have anything for sale that I want. Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Okay. Uh, Dwemer stuff. That's pretty cool. Um, I mean, we're at about the... That's pretty good. We're at about the level where we would start seeing... Actually, I really want a fire enchantment. So I'm going to buy that, even though it's a terrible idea. Um... We're at about the level where Dwarven stuff would start showing up, but it's kind of cool that we ended up doing the, the um, Sam Gwavine quest and uh, getting sent to Markarth right at about that point, since Markarth is a repurposed Dwemer city. That's very cool. Um, for Mantle Black. Hmm, Alchemy. That could be useful, but I'm not that worried about it. Ooh, Red Guard stuff, that's kind of cool. Frost resistance. Do you have a hammer by any chance? I could really use a hammer. Nope. No hammer. Okay. Until next. Um, I have a good idea where she learned how to smith. I'm not going to ask about that. I don't know why I would ask 
an orc where she learned how to smith when I don't ask most people. So, Johan's racking his brain, trying to figure out where the hell he is. And he, um, has an idea that he might be in Markarth. What? What the hell? I die for my people. By the divines, the Forsworn are here in the city. What the hell just happened? This guy just attacked that lady. And then and right before that he gave me all of his things. The Arno Forsworn here. Uh did you see that, Madman? A Forsworn agent here in the city. Um that magic away from me. Uh, who was talking to me just now? You? Yeah. Did you see that, Madman? A Forsworn agent here in the city. I don't even know what a Forsworn agent is. What the hell's going on? I think he worked down at the smelter. A lot of laborers there are sympathetic to the Forsworn. They promise people they'll kill off all the Nords that rule the over the Reach. Nothing but murderers and saboteurs. Uh... Okay. My entire day. Well, I would imagine. Holy crap. Oh no, he stole her key. What can I get for before you? he killed her. What the hell just happened? This place is terrible. Red Guard craftsmanship in every piece. I don't I don't understand. <sighs> Alright, well, there, there should be somebody walking up to us at this point, but apparently that's not going to happen. It's bugged. Whatever. So that just ruined Johan's day. He has absolutely no idea what just happened. He couldn't save that poor woman, but the guards said they had it all under control. He now knows where he is, for sure. They did mention Markarth, so he now knows that he is um, about about as far west as you can be in Skyrim and pretty freaking far from where he actually intended to go um, he needs to get to Rorikstead which isn't too terribly far from here but it's still quite the journey and he doesn't really have the time for this he needs to get to Felglow Keep because he does not trust that Ancano guy he that he he's clearly uh, making some kind of play, some kind of power play back at the college, and Johan does not want to see that happen. So he's going to take this carriage to Rorikstead and uh, go from there to White Run, and then go from White Run to Felglow Keep. Seems like the best option for him. Yes. Um, can you tell me anything about Markarth while we're out here? Markarth is different from the rest of Skyrim, there's no doubt about that. Oh, it sure is. The Reach has been part of Skyrim for a thousand years, but the Reachmen still haven't accepted it. It was only twenty years back that the Reachmen rebelled. They even took control of Markarth itself for a time. They were Interesting. Crushed, the survivors, the Forsworn. That's who the Forsworn the are, okay. The Reach dangerous for honest folk. Yeah, okay, so Johan's heard of the Reachmen, he just didn't realize that they and the Forest One were the same. Interesting. I'd like to hire your carriage, please. Where do you want to go? Um, let's see. Can I not go to Rorikstad with this new mod? Going straight through, or did you want to stop somewhere along the way? Okay, here we go. Ah, there we go. Climbing back, and we'll be off. That's cool. That's a cool way to do it. I like that a lot. Just sit back. This won't take long. Oh, I missed an egg. That would have been useful. What can I get for you? <clears throat> oh, dear God. Rorik's dead. Excellent. Um. So I'm supposed to ask around here, see if anybody knows about what happened, but it's back. it's late. Would probably be a good idea to sleep here. Do they have an inn? It looks like they have an inn. 
Nice little town, I like it. Stop in for the night. Ask about Sam. Maybe even find him here, hopefully. Go steal all that wheat down there at that farm. And head off. Welcome. Let me know if you want. Um, I got a clean mug around here somewhere. <laughs> thanks, buddy. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Um, have you heard any rumors lately? People say there's someone in Riften that can. Yeah, I heard that one already. All right, skip face. it. Make you look completely different. I don't believe that at all. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I mean, I do as the player, but Johan doesn't believe that. He's not, he's not even gonna. I'll show you to your room. Um, right pretend. Way. Great. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Uh, thanks, man. Barbers, get out of the nice man's way. So he can leave my room. I had a big honking stutter there. So I decided to restart my game. Um, let's see. Is Sam anywhere around? Barbus, get out of the way. Dear Lord. I don't see him. I do see that um, red guard that we talked to earlier. Let's go see if he's willing to give us any more information yet. Do you have news of our quarry? Um, I guess mm -hmm. there's no more new dialogue with him yet. I have to talk to Sadia first, I guess. Do you have news of our quarry? Exact there same well. guy, exact same voice, exact same everything. All right, so doesn't seem like there's um anybody here worth talking to. So let's get something to eat. See what do we have? Let's 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 eat some candy. I'm hungry for something sweet. And a couple of those. And a honey brew mead. Excellent. And off to bed. Ah, good. What can I do for you, friend? You can you can move, Barbus. You can move too. Come on. There you go. Good dog. The alec here just. Hang out here all day, don't they? Do you have news of our quarry? No, I don't. To break into my chest again, son? I've told you to leave it alone. I just wanted to try on your old armor from back when you were a soldier. I thought I might be old enough to wear it. Where is this happening now? Times I locked that chest oh, right there. Me. I don't want you getting a head full of ideas about adventure and glory. I'm old enough to decide how to live my life, and I'd be honored to wear your armor. If you just let me, I'm strong enough to handle it. <laughs> Strong, yes. But how clever are you? I tell you what, Barbus, dear God, you can open the lock. What can I get for you? You can have everything in it. I'll take your challenge. But if I win, I get to start a new life as an adventurer, and with no objections from you. That's interesting. I've never seen I'm that right dialogue before. You. Could be from one of the mods I have installed, for all I know. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Um. Yeah, and there's nothing of All interest right, there. Then. Mostly modded stuff. Where's that kid? Hey. You look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. In fact, maybe you can help me with something. Uh, what is it you need? I want to be an adventurer like you. My but you took an arrow in the knee? No, okay. He says he Sorry. Needs me to stay here Sorry, everybody. Farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer. We couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Mralki, and he's the innkeeper here. Yeah, I've met him. I hope you could change his mind. I actually overheard you guys talking. Um, I'll see what I can do. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. Alright, where is... Mralki? Is that him? Hey, dude. I only take real coin here. No handouts and no bartering. Yeah, okay, so don't, um... You, sh you shouldn't sleep during business hours, buddy. I'd like to talk to you about your son, if you don't mind. My son? Eric? What about him? Did something happen? Is he alright? Well, to be fair, your son should have the option to choose whether or not he wants to stay here or go out and get himself killed. But the world is a dangerous place. Eric has no idea what he's getting himself into. What's more, he's got no armor. I'll have to save up the money for it. So, that really is the only issue. Um, here, use this. You would give your own coin to help my son? I'm moved by your compassion. 
Yeah, let him. Your kind deed will not go unrewarded. Letting you fight monsters we want. Eric, I've changed my mind and will visit White Run soon to fit him for armor. Yeah, yeah, okay. From what I could, from what I've been able to tell, though, you don't actually have to fit armor. It just kind of magically shapes itself to your to your torso when you put it on. Uh, where is this Eric kid? He's a farmer, right? So he'll be at one of the farms. I could just turn on the quest marker too, but. Actually, let's just do that. And I return to Eric, who is... Which one is him? Which one's Eric? Ask about Sam and the staff in Rorik's dad. Return to Eric. Okay. So, Eric is this way. Let's go talk to him first, and then we'll deal with the next part of Night to Remember. Night to Remember is such a fun quest. Hey, dude! Did you have any luck talking to my father? I. Uh, do you, have you lived here all your life? Born and raised right here in Rorikstead. Neat. My father was a soldier. He fought in the Great War, and when it was over, he retired here to raise a family. My mother passed away when I was just a babe, so he did his best to raise me on his own. It's not the most exciting place in the world, but the people here work hard. They don't cause trouble for anyone. And uh, the crops seem to be thriving. It's true. For as long as I can remember, our crops have always done well. I'm not sure whether it's the soil, climate, or the favor of the divines, but we've never had a poor harvest. It's probably actually human sacrifice. There's actually this whole conspiracy theory around Rorikstad online, like, they were supposed to have a big quest tied to it, and they dropped it at the last second, but that there's all these remnants um, in the game of what it might have been, it might have involved um, human sacrifices and, like, people who have, been, who have like, secured immortality through human sacrifice, and how they use human sacrifice to make the land fertile. Oh, and by the way, your father changed his mind. Can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Rorikstead soon and pay me a visit. Sure. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Make it a mug of mead and 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 maybe I'll do that. Um I, I bet my stories are better than yours though, so I hear children. Let's run before they talk to me. Hmm. I get the sense that there might be someone over in this direction who I could talk to about Sam and the staff. It's strange. It's as if I'm being compelled in that direction. You. You've got a lot of nerve showing yourself in this town again. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, I have no idea what you're talking about. Is that so? Does the name Gleda ring a bell? The Not at all. beauty of my farm, kidnapped by a drunk lout and sold to a giant. You what? better remember her right fast hmm. before I call the guards and have you hauled away. What? What about giants? That that sounds pretty bad, dude. You're damn right it does. I'll never breed another prize-winning goat like Gleda. What prizes is she Don't winning? you think of coming back to Rorikstead until you get her back from that giant? You're kidding me, right? This is a joke, right? Did I say anything about where I left a staff? You mentioned something like that when you were running off with my goat. How much Tell is this goat what, actually worth? My goat, and maybe I'll give a damn about your staff. Because it, because the the magic, uh, floating words in front of me are telling me that I can. Pay you a thousand dollars for the goat. I don't want to pay you a thousand dollars for the goat. See you. Ah, crap, 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 crap! I'm taking all your wheat because you annoy me. Oh god, I'm over encumbered from the wheat. Crap. Uh, and then I, I ran into a wheat stub pile. God, crap. Mm, Fan dog, come here. I've got your back. I know. I need to borrow your back, though. I'm at your service. Because you, you carry things for me. It's a bad joke, okay. Alright, I gave him all the robes I was carrying. Let me know if you need Put anything. me a little underweight. I don't have a lot of room left, though. I need to be careful. Or actually... Um... Where do I, where do I go around this fence? Over here? Or actually start putting, um... Uh, skill points into my stamina. That gives my carry weight up, right? I'm not remembering wrong, am I? Alrighty, so I'm just gonna imagine he kind of pointed in this direction when he mentioned the giant, so we know to head this direction. Ah, oh, this is gonna be terrible. 
Because I think you can sneak the goat away from the giant, but there's no way that's going to happen. There's no way we're going to pull that off. So the giant is probably going to murderize me good and hard. Um, let's see if we can get these wolves' attention. And then get into a fight. There we go. Excellent. No idea why the wolves are suddenly not attacking me in this game. Actually, I can't recall if they've ever attacked me before. Not seeing a giant yet. I imagine I'll probably see him when, you know, he's there because he's a giant. Uh, this is so annoying. How much money do I even have? Uh, I'm, I'm running low because I've been buying stuff. I don't want to. Don't want to be back down to 600 gold or 600 copper. This late in the game, it just oh, uh, that sounds awful. Uh, okay, there's a, there's a giant. Can I um? Can I get past that that tiny little lip in the ground? Oh crap, he sees me. He definitely sees me. Let's um go over here. This really What can I do for you, Fred? Fando, you scared the crap out of me. Yeah, he he knows we're here. We're not fooling anybody. Crap. Oh, this is a terrible idea. This is a terrible idea. I need that goat back. Can I help you? Let's see if let's see if we can talk to him. Maybe we can talk to him. You want hey, can we talk? Hi. Hey, hey goat. Oh crap. Ah. Uh, crap. And the goat's now following me. Of course it is. Yeah, okay. I just wanted to talk, buddy. Yeah, he's not taking any damage. Ah. He's focusing on Fandal, though. Oh, crap. Fandal's down. And I'm down. Excellent. Perfect. He doesn't aggro until I talk to the goat. So... Talk to the goat and run. Run. And let's get my Atronach out. And let's stay back and, uh... Shoot some, uh, some... Crap, I don't even know. Let's try and infect life on him, see what happens. Um... It's hurting him. Can we stack it? Does it stack? I mean, it's doing damage to him. Kind of embarrassed that Feindall takes multiple hits to go down, but I only take one. I really need to get better armor. It's one of the reasons I'm going back to White Run is because I want wolf armor. He's looks like he's chasing Barbus, and Barbus is running. Which, Barbus only runs if somebody can do huge amounts of damage to him. I missed. I expected him to go down further than that. Oh, okay. Let's refresh my Atronach and then run off this cliff. Okay. This is terrifying. But we're, we're doing it. Pretty sure Fandel's dead. Which is going to be a shame. Because I really need the stuff he's carrying of mine. Oh, he killed my Atronach. Good. I don't have enough magic to summon it again. Barbus. Barbus, help me out, buddy. Okay. I fell. Oh, good. Run. Run me, run. Uh, where the heck is he? Oh, frickin' excellent. 
Let's, um... Do I have any magic potions? I have potion of magicka. Okay, does that give me enough? Yes, let's get some more... Get some more flames on this guy. If only I had the staff. If I had the staff, he'd probably be dead by now. Oh, dear God. Oh, crap, he's fast. And my Atronach's running. But, um... He's still he's still catching up with her. Oh, hey, hey, hey! It's Fainal. He's not dead. I thought I saw him fly up in the air. Oh, that's a saber cat. There's a saber cat too. Oh, okay, he's dead. Let's see if I can hit the saber cat from here. I'm curious how much damage this will do to a saber cat. Not a lot. Huh? And it's coming right for me. That was a stupid idea. Uh, get another one of these out. And, um... Yeah, okay. Bound sword. I should have gotten beast form on the giant. That, that actually probably would have worked really well. Oh, wolf. Okay. Um, wolves aren't dangerous. There's the saber cat. Okay. Oh, Barbus has got it. Oh, crap. That hurt. Uh, okay. I really need better armor, though. Um, and there's apparently still something over there. And, good, we still have the goat. So that's what's important. That's that's where we have to head, ultimately. Rorik's dead is back in this direction. Oh, I got synergy skills. Oh, am I going to level? I did not quite level. Darn. That was terrifying. Ah, oh, so terrifying. But we did it. We defeated a single giant. And that's going to be about it for this episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it because I certainly enjoyed making it. Please help me out, like, and subscribe, and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. And uh, either way, uh, I will talk to you guys later.